All right, hey YouTube, how's it going? It's your boy. You listen today. We are back with some more No Man's Sky. So I actually did stream this game as soon as the game came out. But uh, you know what? I just wanted to give you guys some tips, some hints, and uh, just some know-how on what to do when you first get into the game. So as you can see right now, whoa, I got some dirty milestones going on right now. Okay, okay. Um, so let's go. Ahead. All right. So we got to receive this stuff before I can pretty much do anything at the moment. Um, so wait for that. Um, basically what the milestones are, they're basically just achievements, you know, collecting a certain amount of stuff, traveling a certain amount of distance, all that great stuff. All right, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is here. This thing right here is like a beacon, a save point in the game. You want to use this as much as you possibly can because the last thing you want to do is load your game and then figure out... Wow, that that is very loud. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's tone that music down just a little bit. All right, so that's... That's a little bit better. Um, so basically, um, what this is is a save point. And so basically, what you want to do is hit this as many times as you can. Every time you see one, you want to go ahead and smash that save button because you know you do not want to be going through the game and die or you know power fail or something like that. And you're you know you just lose all your all your progress. Um, so definitely hit that as much as you possibly can. And um, I don't know if it's a, a, an official bug in the game or not, but I've hit it a couple times and you know I've loaded the game. And there actually be some stuff missing. I mean, it's not that not that much progress missing, but some stuff missing. Um, and so what I just hit to right here to show you guys is a uh, ooh, it's like an artifact, an artifact for you know the the uh, one of the species in the game called the Corvax. And what it is, it basically lets you learn words. As you can see, I just learned eight beginner words, and so that allows me to communicate with the uh, the alien species a little easier. And that helps me increase my uh, reputation with them. So there is a reputation system in this game. Um, so there are different kinds of species. I've only found the Corvax so far. As you can see, the universe is quite vast. Um, but and they're, they're an advanced species. They're de definitely way more advanced than the uh, humans, per se. All right, um, so next thing I want to show you guys, if you press the left thumbstick in, left thumbstick in, this is your scanner. Um, and so what you can do with this is if we pull out our multi-tool, so our multi-tool is actually a farmer, like you actually farm materials with it. As you see, I'm grabbing plutonium right now. Um, if you actually press triangle, it actually becomes a gun, so you can actually kill things. Um, I'd definitely be, be careful of that um, because you have, as you can see, you have a limited amount of ammo and all that great stuff. Um, and I've actually have some attachments on here. Let me show, let me show you guys the attachment real quick. Uh, so if I press L1, I have actually like a, uh, what's it, what's it called? Um, it is called a plasma launcher. So let me show you guys what the plasma launcher does. It is pretty darn amazing. Boom! <laughs> and that thing ceases to exist. All right. Um, so that's all cool and everything. But as you can see, um, the different symbols mean different kinds of resources. So usually those lightning things mean things like plutonium, uh, demonium, and uh, just various things. Um, as you can see, that yellow symbol right there, that usually be like things like gold, iron, zinc, um... I think you, you can get other things from it too, um, aluminum, um, just like your your more metallic type materials. Um, and then I, I got a couple of percent other symbols on there, but that's kind of advanced information for right now. You know, until you get to a little a little more hang of the game. Um, so basically, when you start out of the when you start out in the game, um, basically just follow the instructions. It's going to tell you how to build a couple things. So basically, what you want to go what you're going to want to do is just go around and uh, farm materials and whatnot um, so one other thing I am going to show you since I am able to at the moment is that you can actually trade with people in the game so if you see a ship a nearby ship at all if you just walk up to it you hold box you can actually trade with that person um, so as you can see I can buy some items off of him I can sell some items to him and I can actually make an offer on his ship so I can actually make an offer to buy this man's ship although it costs a ridiculous amount of, of um, units units is the currency as you can see in the top left corner here units is that the official currency of the game um, I don't really want any of this stuff right now but let's actually make, see if we can make an offer on his ship so how much does he want for a ship so as you can see this is how much he wants for a ship 501,000 units and um, that include that includes just the stock ship um, you can transfer all your own stuff from your ship um, we can actually click on this right here so you can actually see um, so one thing about getting a new ship the main thing about getting a new ship is your slots because you fill up your slots very 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 quickly in this game so originally I, I would love to get all 25 slots that would be amazing but I think I've seen one ship that has 25 slots and that ship costs about 1,000 I mean 1 million eight hundred thousand units something like that um so yeah getting that getting that kind of ship uh, might might be a, a quite a bit of ways um so as you as you guys can see I have 30, 301 units um, on my profile so far, and all I did was play for, I don't know, two and a half hours, three hours uh, last night when I was streaming. 
Um, and so the the best way I have found to get units so far is aluminum. Aluminum sells for so much on the uh, the world market. And let me go show you guys the world market here. Can I turn around? Thank you. Um, so you know you'll run into random uh, buildings like these that have kind of this, they're basically just like waypoints in the in the world, way stations or whatever. Um, but if you actually go over here, there's a galactic trade terminal uh, interface, and it allows you to trade on the market. Or I could have sold my stuff to him. Um, it, honestly, and it's, it's actually not a bad idea to go around and find the best price. Because as you can see, it says like plus 1.9% galactic average. Yeah, so different things sell for different stuff at different times. So, you know, as you're traveling through the game, it's not a good thing to sell everything you get immediately. Because you kind of want to wait until the price is right. Because I sold my aluminum one time when it was almost like like 50% above the galactic average and it added a lot more units to the aluminum that I had the same amount of aluminum that I had and I got a lot more for it than I had expected um, but you know what uh, this is oh wait no before we actually end this video I'm gonna sell that real quick while we're in here yeah I don't really want to sell any of this other stuff all right so let me show you guys one last thing before we end this video I want to keep the video nice and short um, so another way to get a really really big amount of units is to discover things you must discover things so if you actually press L2 here here, and then you uh, zoom in you can actually zoom in on the very different the very various things um, and so as you can see I, I pretty much discovered a lot of stuff on this island but every time you discover something so you want to look at plants you want to look at animals you want to look at everything you possibly can um, I don't think I can look at this though Oh, I can't look at this. Awesome. I didn't even know I could do that. So, yes. So, like, you know, iron deposits and stuff like that. All of those have different names on every planet. So, as you can see, look, even the littlest rocks on the planet can be discovered. I am literally discovering, like, the smallest rocks. We're going to discover that. Did I already discover this? Uh, yeah, I already discovered that. So, you know, you can discover everything, literally everything on the planet. Um, so, you know, use that to your advantage. There, There is a lot of stuff on the planet. Um, can I discover these flowers right here? I should be able to discover these flowers. Look, awesome. Look at that. 200 credits. I mean, 200 um, things like just like that. Um, and so, um, you know, with that, if you actually press start, if you press the options button, and then you uh, look at this stuff, you can actually go over here, and actually we could do it right now. So I already have this planet clicked. So if you press upload, and you just upload your findings to the, uh, the atlas, you get 2,000 units just for the planet. That's just for the planet. You get 5,000 units for, their, for that, that system, that universe. Um, and if I actually upload this, 500 units. 500 units. Look at that. So easy. Units received. Units received. And that's just that one. I got 2,000 units for uploading that. You know, so this is a really, really, really good source of units right here. And there, there are more than one page. As you can see, there's a couple pages here. I've like I have three pages of things I've discovered on this planet between plants, animals, all that stuff. So that is like the best thing you could do. One of the best things you could do to make money, uh, make units in this game. So you could like upgrade all your stuff. Um, you know, buy new weapons, buy new ships, all that great stuff. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below. Subscribe if you guys could. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the month, and we are definitely on track to do that. Um, but until next time, I think hope you guys had a fun time watching. Hope you guys learned a lot and catch me around for the second part of this tutorial. All right. Anyway, in the meantime, catch you guys next time. Peace.